everyone and happy Sunday. So, um, I don't even know. Is it a good morning? Is it good afternoon? It's brunch, right? So, um, today my original plan was to make um, bacon beer cheese soup. I don't know who posted it, but it looked amazing. And so, um, but then I realized my chicken was frozen, my bacon was frozen, my cheese isn't shredded. Ah! Um, that and teenagers are still sleeping and I haven't eaten eaten breakfast. Blah, blah, blah. So I'm gonna make waffles. Um, Cause I was gonna make waffles anyway, so why not? Um, so maybe stay tuned. I'll show you the bacon, beer, cheese soup later. Cause I do have the stuff thawing for that. Um, but for today, we're making waffles, baby. So, um, but waffles just aren't as fun. If you just make them in the waffle iron, um, you know I have my favorite bubble waffle puff pan. That is so much fun. I love, love, love it. But um, today we're just gonna make, because again, I have teenagers, we're gonna make waffle sticks and waffle bites. So I've already pretty, um, boiled my pans, even though it says to brush them with oil. And I just sprayed them. It'll be fine. So, um, I could grab the waffle mix, which would be super easy, but how fun is that? I mean, what are you guys going to learn, right? Use a waffle mix, stir, bake. Um, so anyway, we're going to just have fun with this together. And of course, you know, I'm not going to follow all the rules and do the separate bowls of dry and the separate bowl of wet. We're just going to do it all together because we know that's what happens, right? Um, so we're going to go ahead and combine our milk, oil. We're going to go ahead and whisk up our wet goods because then you add the liquid to the dry. So we'll add the dry to the liquid. Okay. So, sorry, my eye is watering today. I don't know what's up with that. Um, good morning, Lisa. I'm so glad you're joining me today. So we'll go ahead and start with uh, da, 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 um, half a cup of milk. And you know, I don't even know how many this is supposed to make. Make six servings. But I don't know how many waffle sticks that is. I'm guessing that's like 12 waffle sticks, two per person. Um, I don't know. So we're just gonna make this, and if I need more, I'll probably end up opening up the box just because, or we could double it. What, should, what do you think? Let's just, we'll just make this. Because <laughs> I cut out the ingredients for this. We're just gonna go for it, What whatevs. Um, it'll be fine. Nah, we're gonna double it because I have to grab two more eggs, whoop you do So we're gonna start with one cup of milk. Just remind me, if you guys see me not doubling, to double. One cup of milk, because waffles are good and we can always reheat them in the air fryer or in the toaster, apparently. Did you know that you can make quesadillas in a po toaster? It, it kind of scares me every time I hear that because all I can think is cheese dripping inside my toaster, but so far it's been a successful experiment for my daughter. So we've got our one cup of milk. It calls for three tablespoons of oil. So we're just gonna add six tablespoons of oil. I've got my canola oil. I don't know, I don't know, canola, vegetable. It does not say olive, but um, that's what I have. So we're just gonna add, oh no. Woo, dos, tres, can you guys see? Cuatro, cinco. And seis. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, I know it. You guys are all impressed with my Spanish counting abilities. <laughs> there, we can go to ten. Um, and then they guess are doing once, doce. I don't know what they do. Um, okay, so we got our milk. We've got our oil. We've got two eggs and one test of vanilla. So before I grab my other eggs, I'm just going to go ahead and throw in my two tests of my amazing Mexican vanilla, which is already feeling really low because once, I guess, once you get your Mexican vanilla, it goes fast. Um, I should mix my super cheap vanilla and my super expensive vanilla. Um, I wonder, I don't know. It smells very vanilla-y. All right, so I was looking for my coconut um, flavoring and I couldn't find it. I found almond and caramel, but I did not find my coconut because I was going to make some coconut flavored whipped cream because I know my daughter, she doesn't like coconut, but she also doesn't like my homemade whipped cream. So she doesn't like whipped cream. So anyway, couldn't find it. So anyway, I'm just going to make plain. Um, got that. I've got to grab two more eggs. 
Chat oh goodness, chat amongst yourself. They'll be right back. Grabbing the eggs. Oh no, don't say. Uh oh, I hear noises. Ah, oh, lost my towel. That's okay. It's okay. Look, I have another one right here because I just like to be able to wipe my hands. So maybe I shouldn't wear it on my shoulder. Maybe I should wear an apron. Lots of maybe. Oh, I've got to grab my trash can. So I have somewhere to throw these eggshells. My husband says it's not good for the garbage disposal. So throw those in the trash as well, ooh, as any potato peelings. He says those aren't good for the garbage disposal either. I thought that was the idea of the garbage disposal was for like your food things, but what else? You know, I also told my daughter, ah, we're gonna have some eggshell aroma in here. But I told my daughter the other day, I was like, no, you cannot put the corn kernels, like from the popcorn, you cannot put those in the garbage disposal. It does not like those. Um, I could totally see that one making some nasty sounds, right? So we're gonna whisk this um, until just combined, it says. But you know, we at least wanna break up those darn eggs. And then, oh, add the liquid to the dry ingredients. So whisk together. Okay, anyway, in a separate bowl, combine milk, oil, vanilla, eggs. That's what we did. Add the liquid to the dry ingredients and whisk, into, whisk until just combined. So now we need to add our, da -da -da, like that holder. <laughs> can you guys see it? I just stuck it right in there. Wow. Trying to make sure that you guys can gotcha up above so you can see everything I'm doing. So now we're gonna add in our dry ingredients. So we need three quarters cups of flour. So we need six quarter cups. Hmm, I'm thinking that's about a cup and a half. But I know my cup doesn't fit in there. So it's gonna be three half. One. I see a dog looking at me from outside, looking in. Two. And see, you got your math lesson today. So. Two three quarters is the same as three one halves, which is also equals the one and a half cups, right? Correct me if I'm wrong, please. <laughs> six eighths. <sighs> I don't know. That wasn't six eighths. But anyway, okay, so I've got my one and a half cups of flour, three tablespoons of sugar. Oh, goodness. I've been working out. I've been doing um, 21 day fix workouts. And using weights and it's killing my elbows. I don't know why, it probably shouldn't. So um, since we've already dirtied the one tablespoon, we're gonna use half tablespoons. And how many did I need? Three? We need six tablespoons of sugar, which is gonna be 12 half tablespoons. So one, count with me. Two, wow, three, four, five, six. We're halfway there. Seven. <laughs> Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. And a pinch to grow in. <laughs> so, um, yeah, who would have thought that today's waffle making experience would or, turn into math? But, you know, I guess that's what um, homeschooling is all about, right? And I'm not even doing that either. So, all right, we've got our sugar. Now we're gonna add one tablespoon of baking powder. I always have to check, like when I get baking powder out, I have to check it like 7,000 times. Does it say baking powder, baking soda, baking powder? So it's baking powder, so we need one, so we need two tablespoons. So we're gonna add four halves, one, two, three, Four tables, four, two tablespoons of baking powder. One quarter teaspoon of salt. So we need half a teaspoon of the salt. Let's see, a half a teaspoon right here. And that is it. So we're gonna whisk, whisk it. I don't know why I can't say whisk today, but we are going to whisk until just combined. <laughs> Wowza, why don't I just throw that around a little bit? 
So really, you're, you're, wanting, you're wanting to whisk your dry ingredients together first, just to make sure you've got out your lumps and that it's well combined, so you're not gonna have like all your salt land in one spot, especially once it meets your wet ingredients. At least this is what I believe I learned, you know, in high school at home ec, which was just a few years ago. Um, I don't even know if they teach that anymore. I know they teach facts, which is consumer facts, which is fashion, it's not, fashion apparel, cooking, and tech. <laughs> I'm sure it has, it stands for something and it's not that, but all right. So these are more than just a little combined. Um, and then we're gonna distribute our batter, batter evenly among the wells and bake for 11 to 13 minutes or until golden brown. Then you're gonna let them sit for five minutes and blah, 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 blah. So, we doubled that, yeah. I don't know, maybe they think, because this is six servings, that just one per person, I don't know, but it doesn't feel like doubling it that we made that much. Did we, did we double the flour? Because it seems really soupy, too. Because um, it calls for three, yeah, three quarters cups of flour. Wowza. So this should make, <laughs> I'm thinking 12 waffle sticks. I still think, gosh, that I may have to make more even and because teenagers just seem to never stop eating, right? Um, if, if, you guys, my son, okay, so he does his own like workouts and um, he is just in Mr. Fitness and he's into like eating right and he does his shakes. Um, it's like before and after workout, you know, whatever. And make sure there's no dog hairs in your pan, jeepers. And it tastes pretty good. Wow, that vanilla does make a difference. Um, so anyway, my oven's preheated. I'm going to come back to that story in a minute. We're going to go ahead and put these in for 11 to 13 minutes. Pop them on for sale. Usually, and look, voila, I have my water. And um, it is taking them for 13 because I know my oven usually takes the, lo the longer time. Suggested. So, this is the new brownie bite pan. And I kind of thought, you know, I've never done this, but why couldn't you make little waffle bites? Um, because I think this will be a huge hit. Imaginary waffle bites or if you've been following the TikTok, I guess they started out with um, doing the little mini cookies and like you make your own little mini chocolate chip cookies which follows like which is dumb because there's already cookie crust and then they've moved on to <laughs> you and you make it you make many many um, chocolate chip cookies and then you eat them in a bowl with milk and like cereal so now the other new thing is doing that with pancakes making your little little tiny mini pancakes and then eating it in a bowl, um, I guess with either butter and syrup or milk, I don't know. <laughs> so whatever, I'm disgusting to me um, because you're just eating soggy food. <laughs> and, you know, every once in a while, I will like a good bowl of cereal, which is very rare because I don't, I do not like milk. Um, but you know, a good bowl of cereal, that's pretty good and I like it just not soggy um, so it has a little crisp to it but a little sogginess too I guess um, and look at this this is what's the perfect amount to make waffle bites and to make waffle sticks so I'm glad I doubled that because one would have been just enough to make one batch and then so this um, I think for the brownie bites usually you make it at about a lower temperature for a little bit longer so I'm gonna go ahead and put these in, same temperature, same time, and we'll just check them. So stay with me, I'll be right back. Talk amongst yourself, pretend like this is a commercial break. Um, so while those are cooking, we can go ahead and maybe, we'll slice up some of our strawberries and we can get ready for, um, the, we'll make some whipped cream. Yay! So, I got, I went to the Walmart the other day. Does that know me? No. Oh, I do not endorse that store. Ooh, just don't like it. But sometimes 
you just got to do what you got to do. So you heard that I had to get sandpaper, I had to get polyurethane, I had to get liquor, so I went to the Walmart. You know, it is kind of that one-stop shopping. And they did have, OMG, they had two pounds of strawberries for $2. You can't pass that up, so I got two packs. So I got my four pounds of strawberries for $4. Um, I have washed those, and so they're just sitting there, and you guys have seen this a gazillion million times, probably. I'm gonna actually grab my other bowl real quick. Um, I'm sorry, I hate, I hate leaving you guys going off the camera, on the camera, off the camera, just pretend like those are your little commercial breaks, your little announcements. I'm preparing you for when I go big. So anyway, we're just gonna cut the stems off of those. The kids will eat these strawberries like there's no tomorrow. If I just have them cut, cut the tops off or quarter them. Any one of those three, they will, strawberries will not go bad. If they just sit in the fridge and um, look pretty, that's what they'll do until they go bad. <laughs> they'll just sit in the fridge and look pretty until they're no longer looking pretty. If I get come across any with um, maybe a soft spot or, you know, they're a little squishy, I will cut them in half and there's one for pumpkin and one for Crosley. So, um, now you know because they love strawberries. So, I mean, this is fun, right? We're just kind of sitting here cutting our strawberries, doing our thing. Um, I do have to do this because I'm not going to slice two pounds because the kids will scream at me because eating a, you know, little bitty slices of strawberries is not as fun as eating a chunk um, or, you know, a full bite-sized bite of strawberries. But I don't like them this big on my waffle. Um, when I eat a waffle, I want to be able to just bite into it and chew, right? So then you can do that, put it in your egg slicer, smash down, and then you pop it right in your bowl. And now you've got your slices. But like I said, I don't, didn't really think I needed four pounds of sliced strawberries. So we're just going to do it to, you know, maybe a pound of them. Because they that is also amazing on your homemade vanilla ice cream that you might still have some in the, this is a ginormo strawberry. Um, don't recommend doing it with those ginormo ones. I feel like I was kind of just giving it a little smash. But it's okay, it still turned out amazing, so we'll do that again. And do you guys see how easy this is? I mean, why not buy these guys when they're fresh and they're two dollars and you know they're gonna taste amazing. So then you can slice these up. You can put them in your air fryer on that dehydrate setting. And so you can have your own dehydrated strawberries. I mean, you know, if you know you're not probably not gonna eat, you know, four pounds of strawberries, but oh my gosh, what a great deal. Or you can slice them up. You can cut them up in quarters. You can throw them in the freezer. Um, you know, take advantage of that stuff. Instead of, you know, spending four dollars on a pound of frozen strawberries because that's no fun and that's a that just reminded me that i can dehydrate these but strawberries don't last that long in my house so <laughs> i don't know about that dehydrating in business um i mean they i think they would take like what 24 hours to dehydrate or 12 hours it's something crazy like that um when i think in that same amount of time they would have just been eaten Oh, whoops, I didn't want the spice ones in that bowl. Ah, it happens. Um, this one kind of looks interesting. This one looks like it's going to be for the dogs. And just, well, it's actually a good strawberry. Just, there's just that little chunk that maybe didn't look as beautiful. Um, it was perfectly fine, though. I think I'm good on my sliced strawberries, though, for waffles. Hey, I have some new visitors. Thanks for visiting. Today we're just making waffles. I just stuck the waffle sticks and the waffle bites in the oven. So they are just cooking up fresh for us. And so, you know, killing time while they're cooking is the perfect time for you to just cut up your strawberries and um, make get whatever other toppings out that you might want to have for your waffles, for your waffle bar. Um, oh, goodness. Um, <laughs> my nose itches. Oh, darn allergies. I'm going to just 
pop these strawberries for the dogs right here in this little cup because they're outside right now and I don't think I need to interrupt them. I'm gonna pop these guys in the trash. <coughs> Seriously. Oh, I've seen all those memes and everybody saying, okay, so for the longest time, didn't know, do I have COVID <laughs> or do I have allergies? Because why in the world would we have this pandemic virus going, a respiratory virus going around during um, allergy season? I mean, goodness sakes, could we have picked a better time for this? Because, oh, my throat tickles, my nose is red, <laughs> but my, um, my lungs are pretty clear. So, so far so good. My poor son, he's was having some aller allergy issues this morning. He he and my husband, they, oh, and I forgot to finish that other story. I'll tell you. So he and my husband went down to the lake to help some friends move some stuff down there. Um, and he, they had to come back kind of early today because he's going to go up to Nana and Papa's and mow because they have 10 acres and I don't think my, my dad needs to be out there mowing. And um, he's got an amazing tractor. He can get it done in like three to four hours. But and he needs somebody to come out and mow like once a week. So the kids have been taking turns or whatever. So Anthony had to come home and do that. And he's, I guess Tony said his allergies were driving him nuts. So at least it's nice and cool out today because I saw him leaving. He's got on a t-shirt, a sweatshirt. He had on his compression stockings. So, I mean, he is covered. He, and he's like, I thought about wearing pants over this bit with the compression stockings. They go up to his thighs. So he's fine. He just is like, I hate getting that grass all over my legs. He is my sensitive child, such a sweetheart. But anyway, so I was telling you guys, he is doing his nutrition planning and this and that. And, and he, so he watches what he eats and he doesn't eat a lot of sweets and stuff. You know, not like he used to. <laughs> he used to be my little sweet tooth and we'd find candy wrappers everywhere. But um, so the other night, my husband, we, thought out some Casey strips, I think, or Tebow. Yeah, Casey strips steaks. And he's like, I want to make these in the smoker. Just, you know, just try out a new way to cook them. Like, okay, whatever. 45 minutes later, we got steaks. And we're not going to do that again. But anyway, so he made, he had five steaks. There's four of us. Well, they were kind of big. So Bella's like, I'm not, I don't want to eat a whole one. So she and I split one. That leaves four steaks. Tony had one. Anthony had three steaks. Three. I'm like, dude, if we were eating out, you, we would not, we can't afford to take him anywhere. <laughs> I swear. And when we do go out to eat, like we go to Mexican, I think he just looks at the prices. He says, hmm, let's see. The, the margarita fajitas. Oh yeah, that's the most expensive. That's what I want. <laughs> usually it's just coincidence because it's usually the most meat. Um, or the, you know, the best cuts, whether it's got lobster or steak or whatever. It's just funny. We have always teased him about that. We're like, dude, <laughs> if you go out with a girl and her family, do not do that. Um, <laughs> so if you're paying, whatever. But it's usually my out of my pocketbook anyway. So oh, I just told him now, I'm like, you cannot ever go to a girl's house and eat three steaks. <laughs> you would never be invited back. Um, that's my boy. So, teenage boys. That's 18 for you. Um, so anyway, good times. So I know you guys have just been thrilled watching me cut up four pounds of strawberries. I know you've greatly enjoyed it. It's, um, I, one day I'm going to remember when I go live to maybe silence my phone, but you guys can't see what those notifications are coming through. I mean, I missed it because I wasn't looking. But I did get a text. It was uh, hopefully not my son saying, Mom, put money on my card. I need to stop it so I can get a soda. <laughs> Usually that's the case. Oh, gosh. Bella scared me to death yesterday. She just left the house. And I was on the phone with a friend. I mean, she was, it hadn't been five minutes. And she's texting. Or she's calling me. She wasn't texting. I was like, oh, my gosh, I got to go. It's Bella. I answer the phone. And she's at the gas station. She's like, Mom, you, there wasn't enough there, um, there wasn't enough gas, so I went to the gas station. I'm like, okay, that's fine. I'll put money on your card, which is usually what I thought. I think she's calling for. She goes, well, do I do it as credit or debit? I'm like, well, you put your card in, and it's going to ask, do you, um, do you know your PIN, yes or no? And that's when you say no, 
And she's like, but is it credit or debit? I'm like, does it matter? Just say no. <laughs> but it was so cute. So then I had to call my girlfriend back or I just texted her. I'm like, okay. Was, nope, not an alarm. Just, just needing gas. So, um, but you know, that's the first thing when you have teenagers. And she totally understood. She's like, nope, I get it. <laughs> but I was like, I got to go. Because, <laughs> you know, as a mom, your heart just stopped. And that's the way it is. Oh, my God. It's already we haven't even made our whipped cream so uno momento I'm just gonna go check on this reach in through the oven um, and without you know you sticking your whole hand in there when you're using a little baby toothpaste you can just poke this in and you're not burning your hands I love 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 it I mean never really but I did check these guys they all nothing seems to be oohing and gooing out of them so I think they're good um, while we let them cool for a, a minute or two let's go ahead and whip up some homemade whipped cream I've also got my powdered sugar shaker so I can put strawberries and powdered sugar and whipped cream if the kids wanted to. I've got my mini chocolate chips out. But I knew the other day when I made the whipped cream and I made the pudding, I figured um, that was three cups. So we should be right at, we're not going to make whipped cream today. I figured I had just about a cup left. <laughs> I've got just about a nothing left so so much for that good thing I've got it in a can we'll just go with that and call it good so you know this is why I call it keeping it real with charisma I don't have to watch these two items I'll watch that one and we'll call it a day oh, so let's go I know it says like let them cool for like five minutes so blah 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 let's pull them over here I love these guys and we'll just pull back and see if they come out. You know, this is when you kind of hold your breath sometimes. And you're like, are they going to come out? Are they going to fall on the floor? And are they going to stick? Are they going to be gooey? You know, or do you, whoops, you don't want to my finger to them and pop them out. Because I'm afraid they're going to be, like, burning me hot. This is fun. Um, they're popping right out of here. Whoopsies. That one tried to tear. But he didn't. All right, so we've got those guys. And look how cute they are, aren't they? So um, I like to just pop them back over. So they're not upside down. Some of them are a little more golden, and that's probably because maybe they were the smaller ones. But I think they're all just perfect. Perfect little waffle bites. See, you could make pancake bites, waffle bites, whatever. All right, so those guys are ready. Let's get our waffle sticks and bring them over and once again you know what else we love 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 to make um in the waffle stick pan i love to make pizza sticks and what i'll do is i'll buy a papa murphy's you know the the pre-made to go pizzas or whatever 
get like a pepperoni pizza or even a cheese pizza is good. <laughs> These guys aren't wanting to pop out like those guys did. So, and of course, these guys aren't playing along that well either. But um, so anyway, I get those and I just cut them in strips. Usually I have to cut it in half and then I cut it in strips. And then I four stick the strips in here, cook it for like 10 minutes, check it. And once they're golden brown, then they're just, oh, they are amazing. And then if you have any sauce, you can dip them. It's just fun. Um, you know, I love pizza. So that's just another fun way to eat pizza. Maybe these guys need to cool a little bit longer, but they are perfectly golden. And I, I'm pretty sure I sprayed this. Usually they just pop right out. But then again, usually they're pizza sticks. <laughs> So, um, again, now maybe we know why it said brush with oil, not spray. Um, some people hate using the sprays. They say it leaves a sticky residue on the pans. Um, I use the sprays all the time with all of my pampered stuff and haven't had any issues. But look at that. So now they're like super fun because they look like little waffles because it does have the little waffle-y indention in these, whereas the waffle bites didn't. Um, I know I'm going to have to make more before the teens wake up, but I serve six, so that's saying one waffle stick per person, when most people can eat like one or two full-size waffles. I don't consider this a full-size waffle, um, but that's just my opinion. <laughs> um, what else? So, I mean, how much? How many, I'm, I'm pretty sure I can eat more than one waffle stick. And, and I'm starting a new cleanse today. Probably, I guess I'll have to eat that one. Probably shouldn't be eating any waffles. Um, but I kind of feel like if I don't put peanut butter and syrup on them like I normally would. Did you see I didn't even get peanut butter or syrup out? Not even butter. I'm actually seriously going to... I really think I'm trying to push this issue because the pan is still hot and that I should just wait and pop these guys out because you've seen, well, of course, this one wants to tear on me because I'm talking about it. Um, and this one I spilled all over the edges, so it's probably going to be a little butt too. Come on, little waffly guy. Everybody. So next time, now we know, when you're making waffles in the waffle stick pan, Maybe we should brush it with oil. It wasn't that bad, and you see it's not like gonna be a pain in the bootay to clean up. But this one I pulled a big chunk out of, so I'm gonna have this one. I'm gonna break it in half. Oh, sorry guys, I'm grabbing my cool whip, my whipped cream. Whipped cream in a can just because I couldn't get my other one made. Um, this is fat free, so it's see it's kind of good for me. So I'm going to put my little waffles on here and I'm going to oh so politely just gather some strawberries with my fingers because I can and because I love Cool Whip or whipped cream, whatever you want to call it. I'll just put a little bit on there and look at that. Aren't you guys jealous? <laughs> so let's see. How they taste. Got a little, little cork and a little bite. Make sure I get strawberries and whipped cream and a little powdered sugar. Hmm. Hmm. Excellent. Don't be jelly. You can make this too. So anyway. Thanks for watching, guys. Have an amazing Sunday. And text me if you need anything. Bye.